This right here has basically been my workstation setup for the past seven years as a digital nomad. Some kind of MacBook Pro, a stand so that it is nice and high at eye level, as well as a keyboard and trackpad. And this has been my new setup that I've been rocking for the past two months. Extending my screen real estate by about 100% and increasing my productivity, the U-Perfect O has been an incredible companion to my MacBook Pro. Now in this video, I want to give you an overview of what this monitor has to offer, as well as talk about how I've been using it in my daily work. Of course, you will find links to this product, the technical specifications, the shop, as well as the Amazon listing if you prefer to shop there, in the description down below. But before we jump in further, I think it's time to backpedal a little bit and talk about why I think this type of setup is incredibly important for you when you are on the road. Now, the core of my setup has always been extremely mobile, and that's super important to me because I want to be able to work from just about anywhere at any time. However, when going into a deep work mode, I've always been missing one thing, and that's more screen real estate. This isn't a problem when you have a regular office where you can just get a big monitor, but for those who live the nomad lifestyle or just want to become more location independent, that's not really an option. The thing is, I am planning to be on the road much more later this year, so I set out on a quest to find the ultimate travel monitor. But the challenge with these mobile monitors is that most of them are only full HD, which isn't terrible, but if you've been spoiled like me with Apple Retina displays since basically 2012, then that might not be a good enough option for you. Luckily, after some serious research, I found the perfect companion to my MacBook Pro, the U-Perfect O, a 15.6-inch 4K OLED monitor with a built-in battery, touch features, and much more. I've now been using this monitor for the past two months while traveling in Spain, and let me tell you, it has been glorious. Now, I already published the unboxing of this monitor, and if you'd like to see that video, it is linked up here in the corner. Of course, you get all the cables and accessories you'd need, as well as the monitor and a nice protective case, which doubles as a stand for certain setups. But I personally prefer my setup to be more on eye level, so U-Perfect also sent me this nice folding stand which can hold the monitor a bit higher. In terms of power, you have two options. You either plug the monitor into a wall outlet with the included USB-C plug, or you use the built-in battery of the monitor, which means it does not use any power of your laptop while you use it. And even crazier, the monitor can actually also power your laptop battery. I think that's pretty genius, because most other travel monitors tend to pull your laptop's juice when you're really mobile, or you have to bring another power source, which can be quite annoying. With the built-in battery, I was able to run the monitor on a max brightness for about 3 to 4 hours, and about 20 minutes before it shut off, the display also showed a warning that the battery is running low, so I had plenty of time to get another power source figured out. To connect the monitor, to your laptop, you have two options. You can either use an HDMI or USB-C cable, where the benefit of using the USB-C is that then you also have the ability to use the monitor as a touch surface to interact with your laptop. I personally almost always use the USB-C cable to connect, but since I'm using the new M1 MacBook Pro, which has a dedicated HDMI port, I can also see myself using that more to free up the USB-C port for other things. So overall, I just appreciate that I have the option to switch it up. Additionally, you can also use it as a monitor for all kinds of other devices like phones, cameras, or gaming consoles, and there, the changing up the connection is really great. Now, once you have everything connected, you are greeted by a 15.6-inch 60Hz panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels, which is basically 4K and that with a pixel density of 282 pixels per inch, which actually is a bit more than the 254 pixels per inch my MacBook Pro has. The beautiful display panel is OLED and covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color space, which is incredibly impressive and all that at 400 nit brightness. Now, please keep in mind, I couldn't scientifically prove these numbers, but overall, I found the monitor is plenty bright and the colors are really, really nice. The case that comes with the monitor wraps fully around and acts as a protective cover, and additionally, you can use it as a stand, which works great for mobile usage when you're somewhere in a coffee shop or co-working space where you don't want to bring more stuff. 
But I quickly found that for use in a desk setting like this, I want the monitor to be higher up. So I checked out the dedicated stand, which is also being sold by Uperfect, and it's getting the job done nicely. It's holding the monitor firmly in horizontal as well as vertical orientation, and it definitely lifts the monitor up from the desk for better and healthier viewing angles. What I also really like is that the monitor is actually automatically recognized by my M1 MacBook Pro as a high DPI display, which means it uses all of the 4K resolution, displaying things bigger at four times the detail, which is basically what the MacBook Pro also does internally. If you are having trouble with that, you can use a free tool called Better Display on macOS to make sure you are actually using a high DPI resolution and you can also choose one that maybe shows things a bit smaller than 1080p so you can fit more on your screen. For me, the monitor has found its place in my setup. Most of the time I set it up in portrait mode right next to my MacBook Pro. There, the Uperfect O makes a great complement for things like Finder windows, Lightroom library grids, open PDF documents, chats, or other research. Another position I found myself using the monitor in was just in front of the next stand in landscape mode. There, it is great while video editing, so I could use my MacBook screen as a full screen preview of the video I'm currently cutting, and the lower screen for the timeline and other tools. But to be honest, you could also just use the O as a full screen preview for whatever work you are doing, be it photos or videos, because the colors look stunning on this OLED panel, and since it has 100% coverage of the P3 crawler profile, it is absolutely capable. So as you may be able to tell, I am thoroughly impressed with this monitor as it easily covers all my needs. But there is actually one more feature I haven't talked about yet. Next to being 4K, OLED, and the color profile, this monitor also has a touch panel built in, so you can use it as an input source as well. Now, to be honest, I don't tend to use this kind of functionality, but I have tested it. When you connect the Uperfect O to your MacBook, and you then go into the system preferences and select the Uperfect O as the primary monitor in horizontal mode, you actually have the ability to touch control, drag everything you see on screen. You can click on things by touching them, you can drag things around with your fingertip, and you can also draw in Photoshop or adjust sliders in Lightroom. It works, but I personally don't see myself using this functionality too much since I'm just way too used to the Apple Magic trackpad and keyboard with all the different shortcuts as well as gestures that I have learned over the years. But I can see this being really practical for some who find it useful. And you kind of have to remember, all of this is packed into a mobile monitor which weighs just 1.5 kilograms with the case and USB-C cable, and if you put everything together, monitor, case, stand, power brick, and all the three cables, it still fits into my backpack next to my laptop and weighs less than 2.5 kilograms. Now, I have been raving about this monitor for a while, and I think there's good reason, but there's still a few things I'd love to see improved. The first thing would be that I would prefer if the monitor didn't have this black bar at the bottom and instead provide a bit higher of a viewing area. Right now, the aspect ratio is 16 by 9, which of course is the standard movie format you most likely know from your TV. But for working, I'd love to have some more pixels in the y-axis, getting rid of the black chin. But I am very happy that they actually didn't print a logo there. Those front-facing logos are always distracting. Number two is about the case. It is nice that it protects the housing and panel from scratches, but it's a bit floppy when it comes to propping the monitor up, especially in portrait mode. And then number three, I'd love the monitor would automatically turn off. Right now, I have to do that manually by pressing the button, and that is a bit annoying. And number four, it's not actually about the monitor, it's about the stand, which you can buy separately. It could actually be a bit higher for my taste. Interestingly, it's really hard to find third-party stands because this is not just a 12-inch iPad. It's a 15.6-inch monitor, and thus, it is too high for most clamp-style holders. And don't get me wrong, the stand is great, but being a little higher, it would make it perfect. And now, that's about it. There really isn't that much to complain about. But that is also kind of to be expected, with this monitor being basically the U-Perfect flagship product. I've definitely come to love it and it's become a part of my daily work setup. I even went so far as to actually sell my 34-inch Eldry Ultrawide since getting this monitor because I love the flexibility it gives me 
and the feeling of being on the road again, which I am very much looking forward to. Now, I don't necessarily think that everybody needs a OLED 4K monitor, especially if you're just looking for a secondary monitor to keep a chat window open or a music player on the side. Luckily, Uperfect offers many other monitors as well that you can check out on their website. There are bigger monitors, smaller ones, 1080p as well as 4K, and I'm pretty sure you can find one that fits your needs. With that said, for creatives who want to work with the touch interface, like to have one of the best panel technologies with OLED, 100% DCI-P3 coverage, and 4K resolution, the Uperfect O is pretty much the best travel-friendly monitor that I have ever seen. And that's a wrap of my review of the Uperfect O. If you want to check out this monitor or others from Uperfect, you can check the links down in the description below. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up. That's always greatly appreciated. And of course, if you have a friend that might be looking for a travel-sized monitor, please share this video with them. And with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day, make it your life, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.